Jen's, uh, by the way, good morning, day three vlog. Jen's peed through everything, I guess. I am going to uh, do an in-body test real quick. This is a machine that I have. I got it for my nutrition clients when I was up in Utah, actually. And now we use it here in New Mexico. And I'm going up to Albuquerque on a road trip today to meet with my brother Benjamin and some awesome gym owners. I'll tell you more about that as I go along. And uh, yeah, let me show you this thing. Here is the Embody 270. This is a bioimpedance, so it sends light currents through your body, through those contact points. And then based on the speed of those currents, it determines your body composition. Check it out. Thirteen point four. Somebody's coming to the house. I gotta go because I can't be like naked when they come. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna throw my shirt on and do an in-body test for one of my mom's clients, and then I gotta go to Albuquerque. This has been a funny morning. Baby pee and body test and lady walking in when I don't have a shirt on. I'm gonna show you uh, one of my morning routine tips. I'm about to shower and then head to uh, Albuquerque. Dang it, I uh, forgot my towel, hold on. Yeah, I gotta hurry or else I'm not gonna make it to my 11 o'clock up there. Ben, if you watch this, you'll know why I'm late. No, I'm not gonna be late. Morning tip, if you want to really kick it off right, do an interval shower. Let me show you how you do this. Not my ex, show you. Like, in me, but I'll show you, whatever. So you go about two minutes hot, and then two minutes cold. One minute hot, one minute cold. And just go back and forth between those two. I'm gonna make that a part of the Lean Life Method just because it feels so good. I don't know if there's any legit science. I think there might be. Well, I mean like hot cold therapy is legit, but um, yeah, oh, and kicker, you gotta finish on cold. That gets, that'll light your wick, as they say. <laughs> I'm gonna show you some essentials that I'm taking with me. Kettlebell, arginine. There's Dr. Corper. What's up? You're on episode two of the vlog. I talked about you yesterday. Oh, you did? Yeah. I just woke up, so. Day in the life of a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> On vacation. Time freedom. On vacation. <laughs> You've earned it. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's the hydro flask that I just dropped on my way out, as per usual. All right, time to hit the road. I hope I didn't forget anything. This is uh, Brigham 
aka the Thunder Tank. On my planner, my laptop, the Hydra flask, the food, oh. and kettlebell, in body, and sombrero. See those guys? Comes, 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 comes. It's a really sneaky place to be. Um, I am headed north on I-25 up to Albuquerque, leaving Las Cruces, about a two hour, 45 minute drive as the forerunner flies. <laughs> um, we're gonna meet with, uh, my brother and I, Ben and his wife, Cora, are gonna meet with um, Zia Strength Systems, Big Barn CrossFit and Cantina CrossFit about implementing AdvoCare products into their retail and wholesale offerings. So it's gonna be good. And I'm gonna vlog a little bit later when I have no service because right now I am making phone calls, uh, hitting people with Marco Polo messages and listening to audiobooks. So instead of a walk today, folks, it is a drive. And uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do first though. I'm gonna grab me some Sparky. Yeah. Road Warrior Life. Look at all those stickers on the back of that thing. The person's been everywhere. There's not a place that person has not been. Right? I need to up my sticker game. Do you feel like uh, it's stickers or it's it's kind of like the uh, it's how you show people you're outdoorsy and that you've been places. <laughs> it's how I this is how I uh, I let you know what states I've been to and what brands I support. I shouldn't be talking though. I have a decal on the back of my vehicle. And I've, and I've thought about putting arrangements of cool decals of brands that I support or like. So I don't even know what, why. This is like a wannabe rant that turned into me actually admitting that I like the concept. I remember when, back in the day, when we were in high school, we used to snowboard a lot. Something that I will be getting into or revisiting more in my life because I love it so much. But we were obsessed with like finding cool stickers and putting them on our snowboards because that's what the cool guys did. So we arranged them, found them. Just, yeah, that was a, that was a big deal. Oh, and I used to put stickers on my BMX bike too. Stickers are legit. Don't listen to anything I say about stickers that's negative because I don't know what I was saying. I was just jealous of that guy's camper with all of his traveling stickers that's it okay signing off gonna go be productive and drink mandarin orange spark and then uh enter no man's land in the desert should i film when i go through the border patrol station i never get any problems my brother ben though one time he was like six years old, seven years old. I don't know. He was pretty young. No, he was a little bit older than that. Ten. Enough to be like salty and smart alecky. And it's just it's, when they asked, hey, are you uh, U.S. citizens? Well, they don't say hey, but U.S. citizens and Ben peeps up, pipes up from the back. Are you? And needless to say, the look that he got was not necessarily the best. But... Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go do stuff. All right, time for a, a pause in the drive to show you a pet peeve of mine. Literally, like, same speed. On a separate note, this trailer has a lot of stickers on it. Continuing with that theme, this person's been everywhere. That. It's even more than the last one. Holy cow. Just made a stop at this rest stop 
here on I-25. I usually stop here, but I'm gonna break my fast. Let me show you what I packed. This is a Walmart bag, classic, and a bunch of chicken, a little bit of Greek yogurt dressing, and tons of kale, almonds, and spinach. It's gonna be good. And yes, I will eat while I drive. I'm running just on time, if not like a couple minutes late. So I'm rolling, rolling to the to the Berkey, Duke City, Breaking Bad. That's what uh, Albuquerque is now very famous for. Okay, I'm gonna eat. About to roll up to Zia Strength Systems and NFP CrossFit. I'm gonna <clears throat> introduce you to these guys here in a second, hopefully. And also my brother Benjamin. So this will be a good meeting. It's a good drive. It's uh, educational and productive. I've been uh, finishing up Crush It. Sorry, Crushing It by Gary V. Vaynerchuk. Check him out if you haven't already. It's good stuff. Don't know where my brother is. Let's see, hopefully he's on his way soon. Ben, say what's up. What's up? Say what's up, Matt. What's going on, guys? Shub, right? Yeah. Yeah. Coach Shub? Yeah. Watch Business you. meeting, talking about uh, taking this thing to the next level here. here. I don't know. I thought he's. But uh, when I was little, he can't say my name. He'd say, call him Mashu. And then just say, like, yeah. Mashu Shub? Nice. Yeah, and then just kind of like told for that. Nice. That door right there. Dude. Dude. Topher is not my name, bro. Or Fergus. Fergus. Wes couldn't say Christopher, so he calls you Fergus. Yeah, Fergus. Yeah, shout out to shout out to Weston, who you met yesterday on the vlog. He doesn't have a Facebook. He doesn't have a Facebook. He's he has nothing. He's off the grid. He was actually really concerned about being put on YouTube. Hmm. But hey, who's this? My uh, yeah, my Weston. Brother. Okay. He used to call me Fergus because he couldn't Fergus. pronounce Chris. <laughs> ben, show us your finger, dude. He tweaked it. PIP bowler dislocation. Nice. Surgery. That's brutal. Dude. <laughs> By the way, this you is still my do blog. Legs. Okay. So I just go I just document throughout the day. At the yeah. end I upload it to YouTube. I don't even know. Nice. So tell us just just for a couple seconds, dude, tell us about like Zia Strange Systems and what you guys are this, this is a sweet new location. Uh, what are you guys up to, man? <laughs> trying to fucking kill it, man. It's it's been uh, it's been a long road. We started in a box, and now we got this massive place, and just trying to finish it and trying to finally bring what we started to do six years ago to fruition. And uh, oh gosh, <laughs> he just what is that? You should have saved that for the video. Oh man! Oh, we're all, it's all dude. It's That's all gonna brutal. die. It's all gonna die. You should have saved that for wow. the video. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened, dude? This didn't help that. That was pretty. <laughs> you realize what this is for, right? Um, no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> I'm hey, shoot! <warming>. <laughs> tell us, tell us what a smelling salt does. So it, it's before work, before max, right? Yeah. That so it, it Keep spikes away. spikes your adrenaline and Woo. and it heightens your flight, uh, fight or flight kind of sense, like yeah, I feel, I feel like, like let's go. <laughs> it, says, but, it says keep out of reach of children. You should have taken it away from Ben. <laughs> Come on. Well, I, like, I read it was like for inhalation only. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be that bad. <laughs> Adult <laughs> use only. You should try it out. No thanks. For your vlog, man. Like, for the vlog? Yeah. All right, for the vlog. Film, film me. Woo! Do it for the vlog. What, yeah. do, I, what do I do, bro? I've never shake it up. Wait, wait, wait. Shake it up. Shake it up. Okay, shake, shake it, it up. Smell it. Just smell it. Get it closer your nose. It says keep six inches away, bro. Okay, put it six inches away then. Right, that's weak. You gotta get it. You're in weak. There. What do I do? Put it in there like, and smell it. I've done that, dude. No, I'm not. Like, 
Okay, shake it up. I'll just open it up. I'll open it up so you can see it. Ready? <laughs> I do not like you having control. Get your nose over next chemicals to the, around me. Get your nose next. You have to get no. Open up close to your nose. Okay, it's I will. Like All right, it's not like I'm gonna go. So don't don't go. You can't. No, you can't ease into it. You just gotta open it up. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you get that face. My eyes twitching, bro. <laughs> Popeye's spinach. Wow, for adults only. So what, what, would, what would be your your assessment on that product? It's pretty uh Legit. pretty intense. Legit. Yeah, I'm just, I mean. I'm so ready to do business. You should get Adam, you should get Advocare to make some of these. <laughs> I do that with Spark, but it's not a little bit different. Intense, yeah. <laughs> that was. Dude, so I I I've taken the smelling salts or the the tabs, right? Mm -hmm. In powerlifting. And then I got to the point where, and they're pretty strong. Yeah. You get get like that right before a contest. It's kind of weird. They even at contests they tell you not to do it like on the platform. Then people just see like sniffing stuff or like it just it doesn't go right. It is so, Albuquerque. Yeah, so <laughs> it's like Breaking Bad, like, and you're doing meth before the competition. But no, so and I was able to do that. Well, when these came out in the bottle, we first saw, I was oh cool, you know. And I went, boom, fresh, fresh can. <laughs> and I swear, my whole right side of my brain went. <laughs> Dude, like, cause I went in there like this. My, whatever, I don't know why the science behind it, but my right side of my brain went like this. So it oh, definitely man. can't be good for brain cells. No, no, no. Yeah, um, I thought it was gonna be good for your nose cells. I mean, clear up your, your sinuses. Scholars. Uh, look, at, look at his eyes are still watery. Well, that's because I'm laughing. You, you no, took a... because he's white. <laughs> no, but... Uh, the problem with this stuff is people, young lifters... Abuse it. Yeah, they... And not abuse it to where, like, you know, bad for them, but they use it for every lift. And when you use it for every lift, you kind of... It doesn't have the same effect anymore. Use sparingly. Yeah. Um, I try to teach people to train in the gym at the lowest energy state possible. So don't worry about getting your height music on. I, I get it, you know. But you don't always have to have your the perfect song to get hype. Like, you should be able to hit that squat with library music. Or library music. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> elevator, <laughs> elevator music. So nothing. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. you should be able to hit that lift regardless of how external yeah, uh, stimulus, you know? Yeah. Right. So that way, when you do get something like this or you do get your song, then boom, that's only a bonus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, Makes sense. Yeah, the, uh, is the pearls of wisdom. That we find yeah, while we're learn something new every day. That's every true. single day we learn something new. Don't just sniff anything out of a bottle you see, even if it tells you it's for inhalation. Like inhalation. 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 Is that right? Inhalation. 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 Is that right? Inhalation. Inhal. Inhalation. Inhalation. That makes sense. That doesn't sound right. Inhalation. inhalation. All right. <laughs> YouTube, let us know what yeah. the correct. What's the correct? How do we speak uh, English, YouTube? Inhalation. Let us know. Inhalation. 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something we got going on out here real quick. Check this out. We got some some animals out there. I'll give you a tour of the uh, the facility after we finish our meeting. So stand by. <laughs> All right, look, I'm gonna go show you this insane location. This is Zia Strength Systems and NFP CrossFit. Such, so many toys. If you're in Albuquerque, you gotta check these dudes out. 
Awesome spot. What's up, dude? What do we got next in the day? Cantina. What's going down at Cantina? Don't walk away from me, bro. Admiral Care. I'm talking to John. John's a stud. John will be on the vlog. You'll see John. You'll meet I have him. I'm baby face now. I shaved. All right. I'm in Ben and Cora and Carl's apartment here in Albuquerque. Let's go take a look at something outside. We got something to show you. So yesterday it was a deadhead. Today it's something a little bit more intense, I think. So Ben, tell us what happened. Before I show you what, what's going on here, tell us what happened. Before spring break, Carl decided oh, to cook a bunch of chicken. Like the night before we all left. We weren't going to be here for a week because we're all going on cruises. And he uh, did that anyways. Told him not to do it. He ended up not eating it. And then um, he left it there. So I told him I'll just on put it course. outside. Okay, so Cora, and say been... what's up to the vlog. Um, say well, what's up. What's up? Oh, what's this is your up? first time ever. You guys are married. Yeah. Yes, we are. Cute, cute couple. Oh. <laughs> and you live here now. Married here. life. Yeah, we do. Yeah. It smells really bad. I'm gonna go inside. Yeah. Okay, kind of Ben, show us what's going on. We didn't. We gotta. What is it? Oh my gosh, bro. That's chicken. How old is that chicken in the crock pot? A month and a half. A month and a half. Okay, you see there are creatures inside. It, yeah. It's literally like moving. Infested with maggots or whatever. Wow. Oh, it smells like. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Like, this isn't. I didn't want this to be a daily thing on this vlog, but. I guess that's just kind of what's happening. It's like, w w there's one thing every day that's dead and decaying on this vlog, and I guess that, that's how it's gonna be. That's Cora. She's legit. You'll, be, you'll, you'll get to know her better as we go along. Spend more time with Cora and Benjamin. So we're about to go to Cantina CrossFit right now, meet with John. One of the owners there. And uh, yeah, it's been a good day so far. It's been productive, exciting. I started to go back to a 14, 14, 10, like light, uh -huh. intermittent fast. It feels pretty good. I feel like I get my- 14 hours of fasting, 10 hours of eating? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty solid, I like it. This gate, dude, is like, scares me because it opens up inwards, seal it. I like giving my body some time to digest its food. 14 hours, quit eating right before bed. Like the latest I eat is at eight. What's your... Uh, Feels pretty good. What's your game plan with that? Just do as many. Um, focus on mobility, flexibility. And also, I'm gonna focus, I'm gonna start doing more sprints and stairs. Nice. I know, I'm looking. It's just people always kind of, these Albuquerque drivers freak me out. It's not you, it's them. But, I don't know. I actually can row, so today I kind of just wanted to do a fire, fire breather on the assault bike. What's a fire breather? Just like moving, like burning lots of calories, sweating. Where'd you get that term? I don't know. Huh. I got it, wait, hold up a second. I think if I remember correctly. Oh, Isaac over at Duke City just told me one time. Yeah, he said that. He used the he used the phrase like fire breather for any kind of CrossFit wad where you're just moving. So not very much. I don't know. It's like sweating a ton, I guess. Yeah. Just by it. Yeah, it makes sense. Which is probably all CrossFit wads, but. Uh. Yeah. Mm, looks like we got some weather coming in, bro. Pretty weird. It's kind of windy, dusty. You know, tomorrow is supposed to only get up to 55 degrees here. 
That's crazy. It's 85 right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna book it. Oh, I'm gonna go. Sorry about you, little, little Pontiac. We could. I'm feeling like after we hit that wad, I wanna get something to eat at Whole Foods. Yeah, I had a shake. I had a protein shake and another protein shake and almonds. Yeah, but did you see that Tupperware I ate? It's like uh, huge. I had a bunch of my chicken thighs and kale, spinach, some I Greek a, yogurt dressing. I made a blueberry banana vanilla protein shake in the morning to break my fast. Nice. Nice little Q tip for all of those fasters out there. Dude, that, that firebird that just it's crazy. cut me off. I got a firebird behind me. No, a firebird in front of me and a Pontiac little sunbird or whatever behind me. It's the day of Pontiacs. Earlier today, I was like following this um, trailer with a ton of stickers on it. What do you think it says about a person when they put a bunch of stickers on the back of their vehicle? Outspoken. Do you feel like it's like this? No, it's because they, they need they want people to know what they're about, you know? Or their opinions on certain things. Like I see a lot of people putting up bumper stickers about political viewpoints. Yeah. Just making sure that they're heard because they've probably come from a background where nobody listened to them. So it makes them feel powerful. <laughs> and they can just put up whatever they want to. By going 40 east, right? Yeah. Anyways, my little tip for all those fasters out there is to break your fast with something liquid and then about 45 minutes to an hour plus afterwards you can eat something solid. What uh why? Why? I just feel like it's a pretty bold statement to just put that out there to the world, you know, because know. millions of people are gonna be watching this. I don't this. I don't know any millions. I don't know. Hey, you watch bro. I don't know any signs. I mean I don't I can't Dude. Really remember. Hold up a second. I think it has to do. I watched like some video about like, me. Thomas DeLauer or whatever. He's, he's a stud. Yeah, he talks. He's all about intermittent fasting, and he said that I can't remember the science that he broke out, but he said that you should break your fasts with something liquid, and then he said it's easier on your digestive system if you go with something that's easier to absorb. What if I want difficulty to, on my digestion? Just go eat a bunch of kale. A bunch of um, meaties. Oh gosh, <laughs> dude! A bunch of crackling oat bread. Oh my gosh, man! I swear that uh, mom for her Easter, she made some Easter recipe. She 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 bought um, shredded wheat, and it was le legitimately the weirdest cereal I've ever seen. Cause like. The cereal consisted of two bags, and in each bag there were four massive shredded wheat squares, rectangles. They were like the size of my hand, each one of them. It looked like a mini wheat, but like 30 of them combined into one giant. It was like, honey, I blew up the mini wheat thing. There was no frosting, it was literally like, it looked like a, this is what it looked like, dude. It looked like somebody took a hay bale as a model and made a mini hay bale and put it in a bag and then just like sold it. Except for the hay bale was squished. I know that she did make those nests. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what you're talking about? Yeah, the wheat nests. I thought those were good. They were good. I didn't say they were bad. I just said, oh, my, my, my point in bringing this up was that I ate a whole box of that and I had extremely uh, a, a tumultuous tract <laughs> for like 24 hours afterwards. Janelle was not happy. I can't stop thinking about those Girl Scout wheat thins. Oh gosh. Ever since we were talking with Matt yeah. about Girl Scout cookies. I feel like he should hire that one little girl to sell Spark in his gym. <laughs> you know, that's a genius idea. Like. Have Girl Scouts be distributors of your supplement line. I'm yeah. I'm actually really thinking about that. Super illegal, bro. It's not. 
compensate. <laughs> knows that. that. <laughs> you can compensate that. Oh, so you just gotta create your own structure. Just tell them to be quiet and not tell anybody. <laughs> dude, you watch what you're saying, dude. You're, you're being watched by this millions of people. Yeah. Oh yeah, but millions of people. You're gonna look back on this when there's when I have a billion subscribers and regret. Chris. That you crossed me. Crickets. Uh, and look, my first vlog got like 10 views, this one got 20. That's exponential growth. Not this one. The second vlog got like over double. And then the third one's gonna get triple, bro. Exponential growth. It's impressive. All right, I gotta drive. My shoulder's burning. We'll have plenty of car time together for the vlog. We're in Cantina CrossFit now. I'm about to meet with John. Hey Ben, what you doing over there? Observing the new board. It's metal. Put your John Hancock on it. Oh. Hmm. It's Ben proof. Yes, uh. Why don't you try it? Yeah. I think there's a there's a letter to. Did you do? Oh, it's awesome. We are on our way to our next appointment. Three. We totally, I totally forgot to film our time with John. John is the man. We're gonna have, we're gonna do some great work with him. So what we're gonna do is uh, lay out a calendar for the whole year of nutrition workshops, AdvoCare samplings, and body composition testing for his gym. So looking, for, looking forward to really helping those people get sick results uh the workshop we're going to do next tuesday is going to be called uh what are we what are we going to call it shoot i have it in my calendar you just affiliated with lean life method, method. yeah lean life method five hacks for living lean the five things you're not doing that are sabotaging your health you sound like tim tim G tim gilliam yeah we gotta get tim on this the vlog tim. the tim the Tim. The Tim. Yeah, the, Tim. the Tim. Tim, if you're watching this, you will join us in some someday. Ben thinks nobody's gonna watch this. <laughs> I hope so. Oh shoot. I've said some pretty controversial things. <laughs> There's a cop, he's gonna pull you off free. <laughs> uh, uh, yesterday. You'll have to go watch it, dude. The vlog number two, it's called Deadheads and Fasting. Deadheads and Fasting? Yeah. Oh, gosh, gotcha, yeah. The head that was being eaten. Yep. Well, I guess we'll fill you in on our wad. <sighs> wad. What's the wad? Oh, what is it again? It's a... Uh, 750 meter row followed by 12 push press. 12 pull-ups. Three times three. I don't think I put deodorant on today. I didn't. Gotcha. <laughs> no. I can kind of smell like every once in a while a slight whiff of B.O. So you're going to turn left in about half a mile? That's no, not bad. It's kind of uh, musky. Montgomery Boulevard. How long? 26 half miles. Okay. We'll catch you guys soon. Just did a gnarly sash at Bear Canyon CrossFit in Albuquerque. Can't breathe right now. Rows, push press, pull ups, rounds for time, and power snatch Iman. Pretty an arm bar. I'm gonna go stretch, drink some water. Can't hold my camera right now. It's shaking. It's filth. Pirates are pretty good this year. How was that? How was that, uh, 
time at Bear Canyon for, for you. What's it? What's, uh, what's going on? You get Amy some awesome results. Help her achieve her goals. I think it was uh, awesome. Great culture, great community. Um, legit coaches. Be a good time. All right. Well, we just had a. Oh, jeez. Almost dropped my my oaks. We had a sweet dinner at Chipotle, talking business. I'm gonna show you my pre-road trip routine. So I got my pills. This is uh, the evening. I need, a, I need a restock on this, but that's uh, the connective tissue, um, the glow line, calcium and D3, and then immunoguard, which is like a mushroom complex. I'm gonna do some spark. Got my hydro flask. Like I, we should name this thing, right? Like we should give it a name because I, I always talk about it. Hydro flask? Yeah. So, I'll show you how to, how to mix the perfect spark. Yeah? Sounds good. All right, dude. You take the bottle, shake a bottle. I'm gonna do about, what is that? Three quarters full? It's definitely, it's a little bit more than eight ounces, but uh, I do, because I'm a large man, relatively speaking, I do a heaping scoop. <laughs> One heaping scoop. And then, to the shake. There's a lady watching me right now. shake my shaker bottle like that but when I do you know it's serious pills all of them got one stuck in my throat what are we doing dude let's go all right hold on. Mama. put my pills away I want to do like I think, um, I have no problem going up to randos and talking about stuff. Especially street interviews with people. <laughs> we just reviewed the footage that you just watched. That was worth it. If you want me to do something else crazy, just drop it in the comments. Probably consider it. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. All right, I'm gonna hit the hit the road. I'm gonna hit the road, dive back to Crucis. This drive is incredible, beautiful. We got some crosswind over about 20 knots. to Las Cruces, New Mexico, about two hours over. Hey, Ben liked that noise. He started smiling once I made that noise. It's because it was accurate. What kind of noise was that? I don't know, Ben, tell us, uh, tell us something interesting. I talked to two people, Ugh. two New Zealanders today. Oh, yeah, I remember them. Cheers, Mookie. Yeah, and they really love New Mexico, which is funny because they come from a super beautiful country, but they're like, I 
guess it was kind of one of the first times I've ever been out in the desert. And I love how beautiful it is and all the different shades of brown that you can see. They said New Zealand kind of gets boring because it's just really green all the time. <laughs> so they really think that Albuquerque is gorgeous. And That's cool. And New Mexico, and they, they love green chili even though it's really hot. So it's wow. pretty cool because a lot of people, they say they, I've heard a lot of people say, Dude, there's some shrapnel on the road. Look out. I think truckers call those alligators. Really? Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, but anyways, they just told me, they're like, yeah, a lot of the times people can't be happy in normal circumstances. Wisdom from the New Zealanders. They were both tall yeah. and athletic. New Zealand is on the bucket list for sure, right? I hope Abdicar plans a trip to go there. You're like, shit. Well, we're uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere, but to our left is the Bosque. Let me show you that. El Bosque. Can't see it super well, but down there's a bunch of cottonwood trees and water. It's the Rio Grande Valley. Rio Grande Valley sort of cuts New Mexico in half down the middle, north to south. And I, is this I-25? I-25 kind of follows it. Weaves around the river. Just around the river bend. What is that from? Oh, that's from Pocahontas, dude. I Flashback. Ben's fluent in Spanish, BT dubs. You can speak to our Spanish viewership. Translate for us. Yo no quiero ser traductor. Yo siempre soy tu traductor. No lo quiero ser ahora. You don't want to right now? Ya basta, basta, basta. <laughs> Is that what it meant? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Right. And then you're going to say basta. It's just like enough. Enough. Yeah. So, yeah, he wants me to leave alone. We're coming in Socorro. Nah, socorro, that means... Socorro. That means aid or help. Help me. Socorro me. That's why you... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> socorro, por favor. Say, ayuda. 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 Ayuda me. Ayuda me. Socorro me. Tengo hambre. Tengo sed. Rio Puerto. We just... That's Pink River. Pink River? Pig. Pig River. We Puerco. just crossed over Pig River. Puerco. Puerco. All right. We'll hit you. I'm gonna hit you back probably later tonight before I wrap it up. And uh, yeah, it's been a fun day. Pretty eventful. Hand surgery tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Hand surgery. Oh yeah. Show us your finger. Did we already talked about that today. His finger's uh, broken. Well, it's like, it's not broken, but it's broken, you know, the bone's not broken, well, bone's not broken, but the tendon crossed over. Got stuck on the bottom part, my hand. Have to fix it. Hashtag CrossFit. <laughs> <laughs> he stubbed his finger on a box when he was jumping on it. All right later we literally just almost ran out of gas I had like five miles of range left when we rolled in oh sore and do you expect me to buy you a snack here yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on hold this camera I'm gonna drink this real quick it's recording don't, you can't film it that way. You just run the shot. Little tip on how to stay nice and, um, what's the word? Hygienic? Hygienic? 
I mean, you just touch that down. <laughs> it's fine though, because like people, people from the inside that. out. What if everybody else does what you do? I it. it wouldn't work. All right, Ben, let's, let's follow this decision-making process. It kind of looks like Tim. Tim Gilliam, he's showing up everywhere. You're gonna make a healthy choice because people are watching. Yeah, probably. It's pretty healthy. <laughs> I don't know, I kinda like the yogurt trail mix. I mean, it's not like the best out there. Trail mix? It tastes really good. I love the yogurt chips. <clears throat> Looking jacked, dude. It's the lighting. These are my weakness, but... You eat those? <laughs> you put those in your body? Yeah, you put donuts in your body. What, what should I get here? Donuts are in heaven food. I'm a huge fan of these. From a flavor perspective. Look at these fair life core powers. 26 grams of protein. A little high on the sugar side, though, at 26 grams. Dude, you realize that like, this whole spread is just straight dead food, right? Yeah, it's, it's all dead. dead. Nothing's living. Got the fried pieces. If I'm gonna get a snack, it's gonna be licorice, most likely. If you're gonna snack, snack, snack on a real snack, like don't waste it on yogurt trail. What is that? Dude, they have dried, dried shrimp. What? That's gross. Yeah. <clears throat> Where? <laughs> oh my gosh. What are the odds you eat that? I'm not gonna eat that. What are the odds? There are no odds. There are, come on, dude. What are the odds? One in 20. One, two, three, three. What are the odds? What are the odds you. <laughs> what? what are the odds is a game? And I, I agree, I'm gonna do a one in ten on those spoons. Okay. One, what? two, three, seven. Four. Have you ever tried these before? Strawberry puffs? These are super good. Get your fruit in for the day. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. Puffs, dude. <laughs> Cheetos, these are amazing. This is a complete waste of time. What are you, what are you gonna eat? It's about, about as good as it gets. What you think is healthy? It's about as good as it gets. Is it? Uh, for here, yeah. I can show you a better option. These are better. You can get beef jerky, but... I feel like I need some... a little bit more calories. Because uh, that CrossFit wad was pretty... This is Lulu. Was you? Yeah, it looks like a It looks like a boo to me. Those dogs are nasty. I think I know what I'm gonna get. I want, I want a little treat. Do you ever have the sweet tarts? Strawberry pops. YOLO. Wait, say that again? Well, it's a coral. We gotta go. And who was the one who suggested we go look at snacks for 30 minutes? We gotta get gas. Yeah, but then you were the one, dude. Well, then I'll eat your snack. No, you won't. Who just bought your snack, bro? You owe me that snack. I get to eat whatever I want. Huh? You got home 
It's late. I'm gonna finish up with some, get a lot of people I need to respond to on the socials, and then upload this vlog. Day in the life, vlog number three. It's been a good one. Good night. Good night, Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Not freaked out. Yeah, totally. I need to I'm hungry. Pretty much the same thing as yesterday. <laughs> but, uh, just later. It means I'll probably end up fasting a little bit longer tomorrow. Got some awesome ideas going. I'm just gonna be hard for me to sleep. Like, I'm gonna go study, like, super in depth about Amazon Alexa and developing skills on Alexa. Because I want my people on the Lean Life Method to be able to say, hey Alexa, play me my workout for the morning. Or, hey Alexa, what's the nutrition focus for the day? Or, hey Alexa, I don't know, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna do it. I'm telling you right now, mark my words, it's gonna be high value for people. Mark my words. I just got to figure it out. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> just trying to figure this whole thing out. You know what I'm saying? All right. I might bug you a little bit more, but I think I'm going to wrap it up, edit the footage for today, and start the freaking hour and a half long upload process. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.